Hey folks, this is Vagrant. Welcome back to the beginning of the end for Coral Island. We only have, I suspect, two episodes left. It is the 24th today, so one, two, three, four, five days left in total. Crazy. So yeah, welcome to the beginning of the end. We've been talking off and on. Well, I've been doing some fishing. Let's talk about fishing first. I have a lot of fish. Oh, hello. I have a human as well. Hello, human. Liddy, morning. Good. We're still asleep. What's <laughs> you're always so honest, Liddy. I'm a little sleepy too, I suppose. It's 6 a.m. and it's snowing, Luke. This is how people die, Luke. <laughs> I'd love to stay and talk. I'm kind of in a panic. You came to my house. <laughs> my dog Taco is <gasps> Oh no. Okay, now my top priority. Have you seen him? I haven't. Well, this will not stand. Also at 6 a.m. You can't come to my house at 6 a.m. in the snow. I'm so, you just can't. <laughs> okay, would you keep an eye on it? Well, of course I will. Taco loves going on adventures. He usually goes home in the end of the day. He's a mountain dog. Came from there, actually. Just followed Suki and sort of lives down here now. I'll be on the lookout. Thank you. Just worried he might get lost. Maybe he went home, back to the mountain. If he did, I'd be glad, as long as he's safe. Anyway, I should probably leave. Take care. Oh, well, no, he better be okay. You should check on Luke at the vineyard later. I will. Thank you, game. What day is it today? Wednesday. Anyways. How are you? I just want to check on your well-being. I heard you're a farmer now. I hope things are... Wait, 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 wait. Wait, what... Oh, no. I've forgotten. What were we meant to do at 6 p.m. today? Where were we meant to go? There was a thing. Go here. I'm going to have to go check. I heard you're a farmer now. I hope things are going well with your farm. If I miss your job, it's here. Let's check more about this. What? Wasn't it? Didn't I get a mail yesterday telling me at 6 p.m. today to go and do something? Now, I cannot for the life of me remember what that was. Also, this is... <laughs> okay, wait, 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 wait. Wait a minute, right. What needs donating out of this list? Nothing from the top. Okay, right. Uh, flame back. Arapaima. Arawana. You, 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 you. Okay, it's so these in the bottom right all need donating. Actually, I'm going to nip to the museum and do it right now. Just just to avoid the inevitable disaster. And what I'll do is, you tell what, I'm just going to tap out really quickly. I'm going to check the video. I'll be back in a sec. Okay, folks, if I'm honest, I'm a little confused because I went back into my last video and it didn't happen. <laughs> was it two videos ago and I completely forgot? I suspect that was the case, yeah. Oh, well. Do, 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 do. Lovely, jubbly. Six more. Two, a seven, one. We are soaring. Did I go to bed too late? My stamina has been cut in half. That doesn't really matter. Uh, it's going to be a very chill couple of episodes, actually. We're looking for two more fish. There are only two fish that are missing. I've spent a lot of time looking into the sardine, and I'm like 99% sure that I can't get the sardine. Uh, we might go try to get the red barrel. That said, oh, we have a skill point as well in fishing, probably. Yeah, there we go. And we want 25% price increase because we're about to sell a whole lot of fish. <laughs> All of these lovely little lads and lasses over here on the right are gone to fishy heaven. Okay, right, let's do our morning things. Uh, yeah, so we've been talking a little bit about this idea about... I'm just going to pop one of these now. So I've got stamina for the day, even though it doesn't matter. Nothing matters anymore. I've been talking a little bit about what we're going to do after this game. And I've kind of floated the idea briefly about um, doing another year, basically, straight away, you know? I think I've decided against that. Only because I've played <laughs> 50 episodes of this game in two weeks, honestly. Maybe a little bit more, but barely more than two weeks. I started it in November, I'll tell you that much, and it's still November right now. <laughs> Only just, but it's still November. I am going to miss this music, though. But, um... There's a lot of games out there I want to play. I've kind of decided what I'm going to record next. I'm quite excited about it, so I kind of... I think I'm ready to, to move on, basically. Why have I kept a large milk? I don't think there's a good reason to do that. It's lovely music, though. Good morning, chickadees. I'm going to miss you all. You better all be okay. Dippers is looking thrilled. How old is... How long have we had Dippers? 71 days old. It's an old chicken. I've had him for two and a third months. Crazy. 
Yeah, I think we're going to wait. It's going to give us... It's going to make sure that when we do come back, there's plenty for us to do. And I want to stretch my legs with some other games. Um, including uh, some slightly more intense gameplay. I'm also going to probably resume Sandrock as well. So, you know, we'll still have some farming vibes going on. Oh, I forgot I'm playing Sandrock, actually. <laughs> I just I just downloaded another game on Game Pass today. <laughs> um, now we'll see how we end up. Either way, it is the beginning of the end. I'm going to miss it. It's become such a, a daily ritual, honestly, in some ways. It's the first thing I do every morning, is I wake up and I play Coral Island. Genuinely the first thing I do every day. So... It is sad in a way. I always get a little sad when I when I when I'm done with a game I've been playing a lot of. You know, when, when I've been in my obsessive streak, and you know, given my ADHD, I kind of live in excessive streaks. Let me tell you. Come here, you silly egg. We we're trying to get resin, weren't we, for the silo? I can't remember what else I needed. Oh, large wool for the um the peta. Those are things that again we'll get next year, more than this year really. That's okay. It's always next year, folks. It's a good life lesson as well, you know? Somehow. Don't have to do everything at once. There's more time. There's always more time. Well, until it's not. Until you're dead. <laughs> oh, look at the trees, though. That's nice. How are my... Yeah, these pines are going to trickle. I don't want to know how these would possibly be growing at a different rate, though. <laughs> it's very confusing. Like, what are these two doing? What's going on? Stupid trees. Good morning, everybody. How are we all doing today? Large milk and large goat milk. No sheep today, unfortunately. That's okay. Oh, wait, what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you. That's that's that. Yes, it's that extra one we had. Th these are our last crops right here. Th these six flowers are the last ones we have. Um, there's going to be a period. We, it's good that we have a lot of money, and we do have quite a lot of money, because there's going to be a period next month where we have no flowers for the honey, and we have no crops coming in whatsoever. Basically, we are going to have no cash coming in. Thankfully, in terms of what I would call the important stuff. We're nearly done. Our produce is fully upgraded, 100% upgraded. Um, we're just kind of working on the tools now. I would say even by that regard, the important tools, inverted commas, are, are basically done as well. So, I think we're in a good, we're in a good spot. We're in a good spot. Got to sell this nonsense. And we're going to make a lot of money today as well, I'll tell you that much. Well, are we? How much are fish worth? Do I know any of you? 120 for a salmon. Yeah. 160. Yeah. Eh, we'll, we'll make a couple. We'll make a few thousand. We're gonna kick it out of bed. All right. This is gonna be running for a long time. <laughs> Let's make some cheese and some butter. And let's get this stuff sold, and then we can go get our uh, first of two fish that we're looking for today. Only two. All we need, folks. Edge of glory, right? Edge of glory. And actually, we're going to go grab our, hopefully, we're going to grab our fully upgraded pickaxe. I really need to go get that red bloody barrel. It haunts me. Hello, buddy. You call Bonbon bon a cute ball of fur. He seems happy with the nickname because he is a cute ball of fur. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. It's so cute. Eh? Hey, there we go. Look at that beauty. Okay, um... Alright. Oh, I'm so close to getting time right B as well. I need 45, 15... 5, 20, 20 hand-ins for the museum would get me there. Or obviously one heritage would get us there. 20, ha 20 hand-ins will fly through that in spring, but we're not going to get in winter anymore because we've only got two more coming. We need to finish a box and the only way I can finish a box is getting a red barrel I don't think there's any other ones I can do right now I literally zero because I'm pretty sure the sardine doesn't work uh to do right the other thing I want to check then can we get any of these tools upgrading 
Do we have any? Do we have the all? Oh, okay. the. Oh, we do have. When did I get all that bronze? Huh. Okay, let's. Um. Okay, it's time, folks. It's time. <laughs> I can't put it off any longer. It's time to upgrade the hoe. Oh wait, no. Yeah. So we're gonna grab ourselves some bronze bars, and we'll upgrade the hoe later on today. It's it's time. <laughs> It's been through hell. It deserves. It deserves it. It really does. How much stone do I have? No, I'm not allowed, I'm not allowed three stacks of things. That's my rule. I decided. Alright, anyways, let's go, get, go catch this bloody fish, shall we? Um, so we're looking for... Well, it's snowing, thankfully. So we're going to Ocean Forest. Where the heck is that? This should tell me. Oh, wait, first, insects. This rove beetle haunts my... Goddamn dreams. <laughs> it doesn't exist. Like, until I see it at least once, I'm convinced it doesn't exist. Forest Ocean. Can we see it? Yeah, there it is. The polka dot batfish available all day long. So how do I get there? Um, Just go west. Just go straight west, yeah. We're going... Is that it, there? Yeah, that's it. Hmm... I'm, just, I'm so paranoid about this kind of thing. And, uh, yeah, yeah. Why is this blanked out when it's not blanked out in reality? West of the... Yeah, okay, 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 let's go. Do -do, do -do 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 -do. And we'll knit back before five to try and make sure that we can get the, uh, the hoe upgrading. Because maybe we'll need a hoe sometime, you know? Maybe one day we'll need a hoe. You never know when you'll need a hoe. Okay, it's probably not a big fish, although I kind of want to do a big one anyway, just because um, that's trash. Maybe I want to use a, a polka dot batfish. A polka dot batfish has to be a small fish, you would think. It gives it gives small fish vibes, you know what I mean? I know what I mean. Like, like some people have BDE, right? This... That's medium. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna use the. I don't have any small fish stuff. Um, some people have BDE, like myself, and some fish have SFE, small fish energy. It's not necessarily a negative. It's just I need the small fish. It is the fish we need. Goddamn trash. This is why we do big throws. But I don't want the big fish. Life is very confusing. And we're doing this until evening, where we're going to try to grab ourselves a sturgeon. Because we need that for the museum after offering one the other day. Oh my god. Stop it. God damn you puffer fish. Um, and it has to be during RSSB, which as you can see, it is snowing at the moment. And then, before we come back next time, I'm going to have to work on the list for spring as well. Hmm... Hmm. That'll be fine. Come on, come on, come on. That's quite a rare one, actually. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go smaller. I'm gonna go smaller. We'll get more trash, but we're more likely to get fish we need. Actually, what we could do is maybe go buy some small fish bait. That might be the play. Not like we're doing anything else, for God's sake. Yeah, it's too much trash. It's annoying me. Okay. We're going to nip down to the beach. We're going to grab some bait. Quite a lot of bait, as it happens. One, two. Okay, we need three more of those. You're not doing anything because you're a numpty. What am I doing? Going the wrong way is what I'm doing. To the beach. I remember, we kind of lose the last day as well because obviously there's a big festival on. I'm kind of just going to focus on the festival. But um, if I have two goals before the end of this series, temporary hiatus, of course, is to buy a few hundred. Um, is to A, get both the fish I'm missing, the polka dot bat fish and the sturgeon, and B, I'll do, to get a red barrel. If we could pull both of those off, I'd be pretty happy. The red barrel makes me much more nervous, but my theory is that we, hello buddy. They're quite rare. My theory is we... I look beautiful. <laughs> it's not like this. You can see everyone's footprints. Which ones are yours? Oh, no, that's a weird question. Um, we, um... Yeah, I know, I know what we, we, we. Gone to the wrong place, haven't I? No. 
Okay. Dum -ba -dum. Anyway, see so if we can do that, and then what we're gonna do is gonna upgrade the pickaxe. We're gonna go enchant it. Even if we can't upgrade the enchantment, at least we can get a third enchantment on. That would seem the logical thing to do. And then we're gonna go and smash the red barrel. Or do we go and smash the fire mine and try to get lots of high level gems so we can upgrade the enchantment to get it to more likely get the red barrel? That's the question, right? Which order do you do that in? I only need the red barrel. It's like the only thing I need to mine for, full stop, except more gems. So in theory, you put the red barrel before the gems. But... The gems get you the red barrel easier. But... <laughs> how much time would that take? There's no guarantee. Hmm... I don't know, actually. I don't, I don't know if we go gems first or barrel first. I really... I'm getting paranoid about this fishing spot. <laughs> I really, really paranoid about this fishing spot. Um, oh, I just got it. Oh, never mind. <laughs> no, I'm no longer paranoid about this fishing spot. Okay, we're going to go... Where are we? Pretty close to the mines, right? Nope, mines are freaking miles away. We're going to go mine... Because we can't get the sturgeon until quite a few hours away. Um, we're going to do a long day, and we're going to do a short day. And then we're going to do short days only at the end. I should just sit here and wait for one of these as well, so I can go and get the uh, the hoe upgraded, finally. There we go. Big time's going on. And we Do we need silver after this? Nope. Well, yeah, but nope. Let's grab some wood. I think it's five, but it takes 752. <laughs> Perfectly reasonable. And we're going to... Actually, let me just grab the gems as well. All those. Always something to do, folks. Always something to do. And I think by saving the next year play, I think if we did the next year now, we would struggle to have things to do in year three. Just because of how I play, frankly. <laughs> um, like, social-wise, my plan is not really to make everyone in town love me. It's to make Eva love me. And to make everyone who offers me a specific artisan recipe love me as well. Upgrade. There we go. It's finally time. You would have thunk it. Who thought we'd ever get here, eh? And I will never need it. <laughs> I'm sure I will, because at some point we're going to turn the greenhouse into a... Uh, well, at some point we'll turn the greenhouse into a proper greenhouse kind of thing. I'm just doing the fruit at the moment. Right, right let's have a look at this. In chat. So what have I got on the pickaxe at the moment? Hit drop and rare drop. They're both pretty sweet. Extra drop. So I want extra drop as well, don't I? Yeah, okay. Okay, right. What we need to do here is use... Wait, how is that 45 when there's two of them? Wait, how, oh, I'm at five already. Okay. <laughs> right, so that's 20 each. I really just want to use low-level gems. Like these. That's the wrong tool. Okay, let's try that again. If I go to... If I... Let me see if I can do this first of all. Not with that. What's worth more? You're worth the same. Okay, let, let's just value what these are worth, right? You're worth 35. You're worth 35. You're worth 20. You're worth 20, you're worth 35. Is there any worlds where I can do this then? No, right? Because that's not going to be enough. I'm going to hit 180 as a max. What gems do I need to pull this off? This is crazy. <laughs> okay, but on the plus side, it means these gems are basically useless. So we can... Well, mm, are they though? Why... Mm, I'm just going to I'm just gonna re-enchant this. Bear with me. It might seem like nonsense, but shush. Right, because I got rare drop. So I get I get the point of upgrading that you get to choose. But if I just look out, <laughs> basically, if I just throw enchantments onto this and I'm lucky enough that it always works, then that's fine. Right, extra drop instead of swift swing. That's what I wanted. Okay, see this is this works. This is great. Oh, you're a 60. Right. 
You're the only one I'm not. F oh, yeah, no, no, yeah, never mind. I don't have six of these. Life's not that kind. See, I, I've leveled. I've basically upgraded twice without having to have loads of expensive gems. Right? You see what I mean? I'm pretty sure you see what I mean, because it's pretty obvious what I mean. <laughs> okay, so, whilst it's still only 12.40, let's go uh, do some mining, I guess. I don't keep any of this, do I? Where's my little, my little fishies over there? I like a nice, tidy inventory. What can I say? Let's go do some mining. Are we near the mine? Nope. And obviously, there's like five enchantments. But, no, surely it's always better to do that. Right, and we're gonna go, we're gonna go... No, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go Earth. We've got... Mm, uh, I don't know, I don't know. I'm thinking. If I go Fire, I'm doing it to gamble on... No, 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 no. Because when... Right, yeah, we're going Earth. I've decided. And we're gonna go from level 20. So... <laughs> In theory, if it always costs 200 to upgrade, and it costs 100 to... Um, right, someone will tell me if I'm wrong about this. I mean, I'm not going to know for a long time, but... If it always costs 100 to enchant, and it costs 200 to upgrade... Okay. So, and the, the benefit, of course, is that you get to choose which skill you upgrade, right? However, if there is only five abilities, then your chances of your upgrade costing less via regular enchanting is surely higher because it's less than double. As in, if upgrading costs 200 and enchanting costs... Wait, no. <laughs> Let me think about this. Yeah, no, if there were six enchantment options, right, then they'd be even. If there were seven enchantment options, then upgrading would be better. But since there's only five, I think, because there's the three we've got and then the swift swing... And there's the instant destroy one on the uh, trash. But if that was the case, then surely it's always better. Surely you never upgrade. I don't know if I'm crazy. But on the face of it, to me at least, upgrade seems worse than enchant. Because there's five enchants. And that even if you miss, your chance... That basically, you would hit more than one in every two times, right? Because there's only five chances. There's only five options. So you're, you're going to hit... Okay, let's let's. <laughs> I don't have anything else to talk about. Let's say you're going to enchant ten times. You've got a thousand gems worth of points, and let's say you can upgrade as well. Like they're big chunky gems, right? So you've got a thousand points worth of gems, and there's three of them that you ah right. Okay, this is true, but only to a to an extent, and I'll explain the extent in a little bit. So there's a thousand points. Come here, um, <laughs> and. There's five enchantments, right? Because that's the situation. And you want three of them. So out of the five possible options that you can hit, you want three of them. That means... I thought you were chest then, buddy. That means if you enchant ten times, then on average... And bearing in mind this is on average, so you could get worse, you could get higher. But on average, you're going to hit the one you want six times, right? However, if you instead decided to... Um, Upgrade, you'd only hit the one you want five times because you've got 200 times five to fit into 10k, to, to fit into a thousand, right? And that is how it works. And never mind the fact that you would need specific gems to, to upgrade in the first place, which is much harder to do. So, to that extent, upgrading makes no sense. However, at some point, you can't upgrade your enchants any further. And as soon as that happens at least once, suddenly the odds are 50-50. That they are, they're identical. <laughs> Suddenly the odds are identical because you want. Um, there's only two enchants you're looking for out of six. Actually, that gets worse. No, two out of five. But that's below 50%. So basically, it makes sense. Like, unless, unless I'm misconstruing the situation, which I don't think I am. Basically, until you've maxed out an enchant, I believe each enchant has four levels. I think it goes up to like purple or something. Um, until you've maxed out the enchant, it makes more sense to enchant rather than upgrade. But as soon as you've maxed out one enchant, a single one of your three, it then makes more sense to upgrade over enchant. And of course, at that point, as, as soon as you hit two, it makes much more sense to upgrade over enchant. So I think whilst we're going along, we probably do want to try to focus 
only on using our very cheap gems, because otherwise we're going to be screwed when it comes to uh, actual enchanting. Uh, upgrading later on. Okay, that was a lot of time to say something that's actually quite simple, but I'm pretty sure I'm correct in the maths anyway. And I just, I just want to do random maths, I do. <laughs> that's all I want, is to do random maths in my life. I'm really considering accountancy as a backup career again. Because I just... Yeah, it's, it's my kind of maths as well, you know, it's just number crunching. I don't want to do, you know, freaking triangles. <laughs> I don't want to do shapes, I don't want to do any of that. I just want pure, hard numbers in my face. No, I just want pure numbers, and that makes me happy. Weirdly. Um, it's definitely something I'm considering. If I can't do this forever. Preferably, I just do this forever. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. <laughs> but that's 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 the backup. I actually signed up to the ACA. So um, one of the appeals of accounting is you don't really need an accounting degree to be an accountant. You can just do uh, the ACA course. Now, that takes a couple of years, and it costs money. It's not, it's not like an easy thing to just walk in and do. But... The point is, I wouldn't need to go study a degree. Which means I can continue to work full-time on YouTube in the meantime, which is obviously fantastic. Because I'm trying to, like, you know, set my future up maybe five years down the line rather than a year down the line. So, that is the idea. I mean, it's not the idea, so it's a, it's a idea that I'm dabbling with. Um, but I signed up to do the ACA. Well, I signed up to the Federation, at least. I also pay a lot to my account. My accountant... Um, so my accountant used to be... Because I, because obviously I run the YouTube channel for a business because it's good for expenses and stuff like that, right? Tax write-offs. Every time I buy a video game, it's a business expense for me. I save it as a business expense. Um, I don't know how many rare hits we're getting here. Like how many geos do we have? I feel like it's one. It's two. Two Earth ones. I was hoping for like... <laughs> you know, <laughs> I was hoping for more than this anyway, I'll tell you that much. I guess we're not fully enchanted. We've got a ways to go, which is kind of why I was thinking, well, maybe we should go and do the, uh, the fire mine first. But I think this is the better idea. We get our red barrel, and then we'll go and... We'll just basically we'll keep throwing our enchantments into this arc, into the pickaxe. We'll get our red barrel eventually, and then we'll start fire farming the fire mine to get the big gems to um, upgrade the pickaxe even further and upgrade the, uh, the scythe and upgrade everything, basically. So we are fully prepped and ready for the next year. I mean, we've only got like four days, so <laughs> I'm really going to have to write down what my plans are because I'm not going to play the game for like six months or so, at least, is kind of the idea. And whilst it's easier than Sandrock, I still don't know if I'd bet on myself coming back and knowing what the heck is going on. But we'll see. What time was I going to get the evening and night? So 6 o'clock, I think it is, that we can get the sturgeon. I'm not particularly concerned about it. Oh, FG odd. We'll clear this floor and then we'll go, I think. But, um... Yeah, I don't know. I think I'd enjoy being a con. It's a bit... It's weird, because I'm a YouTuber, right? And YouTubing is like this job that so many people want. And it's kind of cool. I, like, I, I'm not trying to big it up, because I put... Like, I would like to put out that as, as an experiment in ego. Like, my ego is very healthy. I'm not going to pretend otherwise. But, my ego is not attached to YouTube at all. I don't think of myself as special for being a YouTuber. I don't I don't think <laughs> it reflects on myself physically at all. Like, people seem to like what I do. And I don't know why. Like, I, I don't regard myself highly because I'm a YouTuber. I regard myself highly because I'm devilishly handsome and ridiculously charming and intelligent and stacked. So... It's, there's a myriad of reasons, but it's nothing to do, it's literally nothing to do with YouTube. However, it is a very particular kind of job. It's, you know, people facing and people like me because of me and I've, I've worked for myself and, oh, that's, you can do that as an account. Oh, was, that was on the other story. I'll get to that in a sec. And the idea of being something else is really, really weird to me. The idea of just having like a normal job is very, very strange to me. I'm not going to lie. It, it, it's, it scares me a little bit. <laughs> Did I bring any food? Am I an idiot? Can I make any food? Um, I might be able to make some of that. I should, I should be able to make some gummies. Make some gummies. I didn't think I was going to burn through this much stamina. We yeah, got the idea of doing something else, something normal. Just best in slot just disappearing. It scares me. I think it's really a weird thing to think about. This is all I've known for 30... Like, my entire... Working life has been this job. 
has been this right here. Not this channel per se, but you know what I mean. YouTube in general has been my entire life, job-wise. And it's that kind of job that people want. It, it just is. It's, you know, you go to schools these days and you, they ask kids what they want to do when they grow up. And I think YouTube is literally the number one choice. <laughs> it gets hyped up into this big magical thing. And the fact is, none of them are going to be YouTubers. Maybe one in every 10,000 will make it. Because it's just an impossible goddamn market to break into if you're new to it. Um, right, let's go. But that doesn't stop people. You know, the kids. Kids want to be what they want to be. I wanted to be a vet when I was a kid, mainly. I'd still like to be a vet, actually. That'd be nice. But the point is, it was it's this big thing. And the idea of doing something else, the idea of being an accountant, oh, it just weirds me out. And that's, it's not, that's not me ragging on accountants, by the way. I don't want to suggest that for a second, because that's absolutely not the case. It's just the dichotomy between the two is humongous. You know, let's be honest. It, it's, it's vast. <laughs> it really is. And I don't know mentally how I would handle that. I think I'd get used to it eventually, but I think there would be a real weird period of, you know, getting used to things. A really strange period of acclimation. That I'm not sure I can handle. <laughs> what sure what do we have? Yeah, not bad. I don't think we. Need, I don't think we need bronze ore ever again <laughs> for literally anything. But you never know. We'll keep it anyway. We've got a lot of fossils. Put this gem away. I'm gonna grab a jamu just because uh I need some stamina for fishing. And I think we oh no, I didn't see that. We've got five geodes, F geodes, which are the red barrel ones. So who knows? Right, let's go grab oh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> let's go grab blah, 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 blah. let's go get ourselves a sturgeon. It should be here. It's where we were last time, and we just throw down. Actually, I went. No, 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 not a two. We'll throw down here. We'll go for a six. I'm not going to use any bait. Um, yeah. So when I first got an accountant, it was back in like 2015. It's when I suddenly started making money on YouTube. I don't know. You know, Jurassic World was just kicking off. It was a really big deal. It was a big, big time for the channel. Absolutely humongous. Um. And then he did an accountant. It was just too much for me to think about. And you know what? At that point, spending... I say I pay about £2,000 for my accountant a year. Which is more than I can handle now. But back in the day, £2,000 a year on an accountant just wasn't a big deal. But my accountant wasn't like some big blue chip accountants. It was this guy called John or something. It was like an accountant my dad used to use. And he was a little bit dodgy. In like a good way. In, in that dodgy kind of way you think, well, yeah... You know, I'm only small potatoes at the end of the day, and this guy might, you know, save me a few quid on my tax. You know, that's, that's what you want from an account. He just, he worked out of a shady little office in Wigan, and it was a nice guy, and he set me up well. He had it. Oh, that looks like a biggie. That could be the surgeon. Nope, it's trash. <laughs> you absolute beta. Um, <coughs> almost like myself, I suppose, right now. But he, it was just a very low-key guy. It's just one guy, like, he, he just ran his own office. You know, I think he had a secretary and that was it. It was by no means a big corporate account place. And then he got bought out a few years ago. I can't remember how much he charged me, but it wasn't that much. But he got bought out a few years ago by a proper large accountant. And the reason is they don't buy you out as a person. They don't buy your offices out. They're, they're trying to buy your clients, basically. And this guy had amassed quite a sizable client base despite just being a one guy quite small operation um, so they bought out all his clients myself included now they've been lovely honestly they've been really really nice Mark who I who's like the guy who runs my account is a really really nice guy because I've been struggling to pay for the last few years I've just not had two grand on hand because you know I was scrimping and scraping I was trying to get by each month I couldn't save you know you should save like 10% of your income I just couldn't do that oh here's our sturgeon Mark was always very understanding, and when their um, accounts department, the people who chased the money, were getting a little frustrated, he would like try to hold them off for my sake and stuff like that. He's a really, really nice guy, and I can't thank them enough. I might have to email them now, actually. But at the end of the day, no matter what he does, I still have to pay them, <laughs> and I, I just I can't keep justifying that much money because I don't need a big fancy ass accountant. At the end of the day, the accounts that I have, it's just income. I, I might just dissolve the business, honestly, because it doesn't really matter. So then I just have like, expenses, my income, and that's it. Who cares? 
So this will be the last year I use the accountants. I'll be a little sad about that. And I might, you know, it'll be something I do down the line, but if I'm going to want to be an accountant one day, then I've got to learn how to do my own accounts anyway, you'd think, so what does it really matter? Alright, folks, that is officially all of the winter fish. Genuinely. Except the uh, hammerhead. Hammerhead's the only one we can't get. And we just literally can't get it anymore. Yeah, not bad. It'd be nice if this was grouped. Well, it kind of is, I suppose. A lot of wintry stuff over here. I wonder where that hammerhead is. Uh, there it is. That's a great white over there, I think. I think you get this in summer. So, yeah, we can't... We've got most... We've got over 50%. I think we're probably on 60-70%, to 70%, maybe 65% of the fish now. Which makes sense, of course. Insects. Oh, God. Curse you, Rofe, that very little bastard. <laughs> Secret is, unfortunately, we can't get that one for quite a little while now, but, um... Let's go check the insect computer for the Rove. I am a little concerned that it simply doesn't show up on the insect forecast. So what I might do is just have a... We've got a little bit of time for today. Let's just nip over to Garden Lane. No, town. Oh, does it not spawn in the snow? Oh, it doesn't spawn in the snow. Okay. Well, we've been hoping for snow all week, and now I'm kind of hoping the snow just stops. That'd be nice. Thanks. And we don't need the bait anymore. I'm going to keep that just for the road, just in case. Let's go to bed. And then tomorrow we'll do a short day. We're just going to go mining. I'm going to try to uh, get ourselves this red barrel finally. Because if we get the... Oh, 32k, goddamn. <laughs> um, we sold all the... We sold all that. Yeah, 6k in honey as well. 3k on the goat cheese wheel. Amazing. Oh, we got all the fish. Didn't take that long, did it? Oh. Oh. Magic Grove. <laughs> Something bless your farm last night. Alrighty. Oh, so I didn't mean to do that. Good morning, world. How are we all doing today? Let's get all you chickadees out. <laughs> I need to sneeze so badly. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I, I tried. I really, really tried. <laughs> oh, God. I put everything I had into not sneezing. And the world's like, no, you're going to sneeze, God damn it. Uh, they, they, they want what they want. I don't, I don't get to decide these things. I'm glad we kept the silvers this time. This will be much less of a problem next month. Just this month is problematic. Do, 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 I would like, looking at this, maybe scrap the chicken area and the quail area, bring the barn, extend that down and to the right to make like an L shape, and then maybe move the coops into there so they all hang out together. And of course, I'll get rid of this kind of grid feeling I've got going on a little bit. And it would also knock out some of the, um, Wooden fencing, which I think would make things look better as well, because we've got a lot of wooden fencing. That's definitely uh, that's definitely something we can maybe do for the last few days. Good morning, coconuts. Oh, two large milks. You're a milky girl today, aren't you? I heard what I said. How much? We've got th one large wall here, but I think I've got two back at the at the uh, northwest. So, pats for everyone. That's a thought. Do I need to? If they fully love me, right? Like the chickens. Now, this sounds mean, but just as a thought experiment, do I have to pat the chickens? Because the chickens are, f are the chickens of maximum love. You know, the chickens love me. I guess we want the ranching points, don't we? If we're ever going to max out the ranching. I wonder if there's more winter seeds at high levels. I would have just loved one that grows in like six days or something like that. I just needed a short-term seed. Just one. Even the quails might nearly fully love me. 
Yeah, they do. The quails, the ducks, the chickens are all maxed out. So I'm very curious whether I need to. It would it would speed up my mornings. Yeah, whatever. I swear, I don't know if I'm crazy, but ever since we got like more hay, as in the capability for more hay, they t they eat more hay. That <laughs> they've just eaten more to scale up appropriately. Make some manas. Do 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 Okay, so we need. Well, we've got to get the. Um, There's a blacksmith open today. It's Friday, right? Well, it's Thursday. We should be fine. Yep. So we're going to grab some silver bars. We're going to grab 20 wood. And we're going to get the something upgrading. Not sure which. Lovely. And once that's going on, we should get some silver. We're going to need five more silver bars for the other one as well. For whichever one we choose not to upgrade, basically. There we go. Lovely job light. Lovely job light, job light. So we've got all that. I'm going to bring a jammu just in case. The museum opens at eight, doesn't it? So let's go get these fossils processed. Oh, I feel sick. Oh, why do I feel sick? Oh, cause I tell you what, the first day in a while that I've worked out, I worked out yesterday, I worked out today, and I pushed it. Now, I didn't go well, because <laughs> I've just been so inconsistent lately. Um, on push day in particular, I've just barely been benching at all. So when I benched today, oh, it was hard work. I did, usually I do 36 reps on this, well, 12, 12, 12, 12 and I wasn't even close. I, I was miles away, honestly. Well, that one we can do, surely. Yeah, but I don't care until I got that one as well. Eh. We should grab that. Oh, whatever. Uh, process. Right, it's quite a lot of these. I mean, this is one of the few ways we could maybe, with a little bit of luck, get those museum ones. I'm not getting good at that thing here, though. <laughs> I don't know if any of those are new. Nope, I don't think so. It's getting it's getting pretty tough to uh, get new fossils for the, the the museum. I was just thinking, oh well, you know, we could get a bunch of fossils, trade them in, maybe we can get that town rank up. Oh, we've got an errand. Yeah, that's that's great, Liddy. Thanks. <laughs> an almond? Well, that's not going to happen. I think it's better to leave the request if you don't have the stuff, because then you're more likely to get another errand pretty soon. Maybe I don't know if that's true, but it feels true, so it's probably true. Feelings, not facts, as they, you know, regularly say. All right, you can all go. You're all rubbish. I guess if I see it's got a price, it means I've already sold it before. Yeah, I've, I've, no, I've never sold the Raptor Claw before, I guess. Let me just double check these, because I'm paranoid now. <laughs> now that I know I've never sold them before, I swear. Donated. Donated, yeah, okay. Grumble, grumble, grumble. I don't really care about wild seeds anymore, either. I think wild seeds are essentially pointless from this fourth, point fourth. Um, the reason you want wild seeds in part is because, um, well, for example, in winter, if you aren't town rank C, you can't buy any seeds, right? So you won't be able to grow anything for the entirety of winter. However, if you came into winter with a full stock of wild seeds, great. The purpose of wild seeds is to have seeds... It's a good way of getting things that you can't have access to because your level's too low, but since that we're high level, I don't think there's anything you grow via wild seeds that I can't just buy at the store now, is what I'm trying to say. Anyways, here we go again. I wonder if there's anything I can eat to increase my, like, luck chance. I know there's mining proficiency foods, but it's not the same thing. Mining proficiency increases your... Um, Decreases your stamina usage. It doesn't increase anything else. What have we got another Earth Geode? I've got six of them. You never know. I think it's Earth Geodes and Mystery Geodes. 
and also the boxes, but that seems like a very low chance. But I think it's the Earth Geode and the Mystery Geode can both contain the Red Beryl. That haunts me. My dreams. Like, I'd much rather be doing the Osmium Mine here at the very least, you know? Because then we're going to get better, we're going to get Fire Geodes that contain better gems that can actually bloody upgrade something. But that is two Earth Geodes already, that's not bad. Not bad. If I found two on every floor, I'd be pretty happy. And we're going to do this until I don't want to miss the Blacksmith. So we've got till six. So we'll just do a bunch of mining. It's going to be a slightly long video if I had to guess, but we'll see how it goes. I only brought one Jammu with me, so it's actually until I run out of stamina or Jammu. Food here at Jammu will kill you. I hope you've enjoyed this playthrough. This is It's been a weird playthrough for me in that sense, in that... I feel like what I've been doing isn't very exciting, <laughs> by and large. Now, you folks have actually finally seen the first two episodes. I think you've seen episode one and episode two went up tonight. When we didn't even have the fancy museum, we, we had a dream of a fancy museum. And people seemed into like the cozy vibes. Now, I will admit, the cozy vibe has lessened over time. Because, you know, efficiency. <laughs> you know, I still, I still think it's there. I still get excited talking to Casper every morning and about the festivals and finding new fish for the first time and all that kind of jazz. I don't think the cozy vibes are dead. I think they're just more low key. And they were at the start. However, I will say, I mean, I think we've got pretty good cozy vibes right now. I know we're trying to achieve something, but it's not a big deal. You know, <laughs> I'm in no mad rush. Money-wise, we're great. We've got 112k. We've over 100k for the very first time. The farm is nicely set up for the future. I would maybe like a couple more farming plots now that we've got the SFH. And I think that'll be something we try to do in the next video, the final video. We will... Um, I think I like the idea of moving the coops down and then replacing them with farms as well and then having more farm plots because at the end of the day the farm plots all they have to do is buy seeds you know there's no effort at all on my end really just buy a bunch of seeds and we need to keep planting trees as well actually actually we'll probably go buy some trees now that I think about it we need to make sure we've got our um our summer trees ready to go. So we'll go work on the orchard for a little bit. As well. Actually, what time does the general store show? Is it five? Okay, we'll probably, we'll probably leave here for five. And go to the general store. And the lab as well. I also really need to start taking notes about what trees I'm growing. Now, I know I've got trees in the greenhouse, but I'm not worried. No, I don't. I've got saplings. I'm not worried about that. Eventually, I just want my orchard to have every tree times four. Right? That's the idea. That's the, that's the dream. And then some will grow in some months and some will grow in others. And it's not really about money, the orchard. It's more just about having everything <laughs> and having it look like a nice orchard, basically. I'll put a big fence around it and a little gate. And that's going to sit on the left. Yeah, I, I, we'll, we're going to move the coop. I think that's a good idea. Is that going to be too far away? It shouldn't be too far away either. Plus, we're going to get the auto collectors anyway pretty soon. Well, we're not, but next playthrough. But, yeah, as I was saying, I, I would suspect that the next year that we do is going to be aggressively chill. I don't, because there's less to worry about. I know there will be new content to do, blah, 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 but... We're well primed for the new content, you know what I mean? Bonk. How are we doing on... I think we're alright on geodes. We're up to 11, that's not bad. Not bad. A lot of fossils as well. It's just strange, but I feel like, like, because we've got a skill that increases the amount of geodes we get, right? That's like the first skill we ever bought in this game, I believe. But I feel like we get geodes at quite a rare rate, but I feel like we get absolutely stocked on fossils. I wonder if the rare items is affecting fossils more than geodes. I think geodes are probably just rarer than fossils anyway, generally speaking. But still. One day I'll understand rock domino as well. <laughs> One beautiful day. 
I mean, I do want fossils. I just get frustrated when I hand in like 25 fossils and I don't bloody find anything, you know? How many was it we did the other day? Like 32 fossils or something like that and we didn't find a single, a single new bone? I don't know, maybe there's different quality of fossils. Maybe I'm not gonna find fossils I need here in the earth mine. I don't know, that could be the case. Who knows if, nobody knows if folks, that is the problem. It's a bish bash boshy machine, me. Bish bash bosh. I'm trying to think of how I'm gonna move the coops. I do really like the idea of the all the chickens and all the quails and all the ducks. Just all of them living together. I think mean, that's cute. And it might be easier on me. I don't think it would really make a difference in terms of ease. But it's still cute, and that's really the most important thing. Another geode. I'm still trying kind of to level up my combat. I've got 500 points, so I should go buy a skill point. Combat is stuck at level 5, and I just don't see where it's going to come from. Where are the points going to come from for combat? Where, how is it ever going to level up any further? We just don't do any combat, you know? I feel like it must be based on the number of hits as well, and because we do so much damage now, we just don't hit anything. It was like it leveled up super fast at the start. Got to sort of level 4 or 5, and just ground to a halt, and hasn't moved in about... 20 hours and I would I would genuinely not be surprised if it's been about 20 hours since we leveled up combat Or at least I'd be I would be surprised if it's leveled up more than once in the last 20 hours But uh, it's hard for me to think back sometimes in this 50 hour playthrough gee I don't know how that's happened <laughs> This is episode 49. That's madness. Absolute madness. It really is Where has the time gone? Where has my life gone? I'm really hoping Samrock's gonna scratch this itch for me again. We do get to go diving for the artifacts, which is a system that I quite like. It's a bit RNG for my liking, but um, I do I do like the, the the sand rock artifact system that they brought over from Portia. Portia. The game calls it Portia and Portia, <laughs> Portia and Portia. So I never know which one's right. I think I'm a Portia kind of guy. But we're going to play that, and just so you know where my head's at, I think you've probably already seen the playthrough started by now, but we're also going to play, um... I'm also recording Tears of the Kingdom, though. Maybe I need to finish that before I play something else. Eh. I don't mind playing two games at once. I don't like playing three games at once. Uh, I'm going to play Remnant from the Ashes, I think. The sequel just came out, and the sequel looks really good. And it's getting really good reviews, blah, blah, blah. But the first game seems really good as well, and I never played the first game. Now, I don't believe they're that linked lore-wise. Well, it does seem silly to play a sequel without playing the first game anyway, so... The plan right now is to play both of those. It shouldn't be particularly long, they sound like they're about 20-hour games, something like that. And they're Souls-like looter shooters, which sounds really cool. Like, imagine Borderlands meets Dark Souls, I guess. Sort of. More like Returnal, I guess? Returnal is fairly similar. But Returnal meets Dark Souls, there you go. It's the, it's the general idea, I think, I don't really know. But that sounds like fun, so we're gonna play those. They sound like proper gameplay games, which I'm, I, I'm kind of, I just wanna shoot some things, you know? <laughs> Sometimes I just wanna shoot some things and prove that I can play games. We are running out of stamina. So that jam, ooh. We might get one more floor done and then we'll call it. Got a couple hours yet. Probably wanna leave about four, realistically, so yeah, we'll just go to four. Or until our stamina runs out, whichever comes first. Because I'm going to need to nip back to the house and clear the inventory, because uh, it's quite, it's not even that many fossils, honestly. <laughs> I thought it was going to be, was going to be way more than that. I was expecting to open it up to like 50 fossils, and it's about 20 maybe, if not less. But still. 21. <laughs> Um, so yeah, the current playthroughs I've got in mind are Remnant, Back to Tears of the Kingdom. I think Tears is one of the ones I'm just going to work on slowly over time, and when it pops up, it'll pop back up. I might wait till I've finished it before I upload it. Remnant, Ori in the Blind Forest, which is a beautiful platformer game that I did dabble in in the past before I decided to play that. I should probably not talk about this in the playthrough, I know that, because by the time you folks see this... It's February. <laughs> God knows why I've uploaded by then. There's a really good game coming out in February as well. I can't remember what it was anymore, though. 
Oh no, what is coming out in February? Something I was really excited by. It's coming in Feb. And I'm gonna play. The, I'm probably not gonna play the new Avatar game, am I? Oh my god, what? <laughs> that comes out in a couple of weeks, actually. One of the beautiful things about this channel, though, is I don't really feel the need to play games as they come out. Sometimes I want to. Sometimes it's something I do want to do. Like there's Starfield, which Starfield's a funny one. I, I enjoyed my time with it. I kind of I was obsessed with it in a way. I, I hammered my gameplay for it. But it looks worse and worse in retrospect. It really does. I still enjoyed it for what it was, but it needs help. And you get the feeling when you play it that it could have done with another year in the oven, you know? I don't want to have no stamina. We're going to go down to 100 stamina, then we'll go. What time are we on? Ah, oh, you know what? I, th I thought this was going to be longer. You can, as long as you're moving quickly, you can really hammer your stamina in the, uh, in the mine. Really fast. It's good practice for your aim as well. You know, I, I tried to predict that, the domino. I tried to be prepared for it, and then I got a bloody double, double domino. <laughs> and just, there's nothing I could do. Um, but yeah, because this is so far away, I shouldn't really talk about what games I'm going to play. That means, what, sh what should I talk about? I need to talk about things that are like universal, or I need to like predict what's going to happen. Can you believe that guy did that thing? He has got himself into quite a predicament. You know, that kind of thing. And just apply as need be, you know? I know some people dislike, I remember we've talked about this before, I know some people dislike that I when I'm recording so far ahead of time, but it is, I, I do have to keep reiterating how, how necessary it is for this channel to work, for me to be prepared like this and that when I'm in the mood to record as I have been with this game that I do this when I can because otherwise uh, I'm just going to sell that stone on here yeah. but otherwise I just I get to a yeah I'm going to sell these as well I just get to a point where there, there will come a time where I don't want to record anymore I don't know when that's going to be I'm not in a bad mood lately but depression's a bitch <laughs> it comes out of nowhere you know I just, I can't predict when that will happen or when things will hit me. So the more I can do now, it's, it's either risk not having content for like three months, as we've done, or I pre-record ahead of time. And I think this is the lesser of two evils. There's no middle, there's no middle ground. There really isn't. So lesser of two evils. I'm going to upgrade my hole. Lovely, lovely. Right, let's get some processing. Everybody... Wait, 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 wait. No, we need to think about this. Okay. Um, <sighs> da, 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 da. Because... Because... We can we can cheat this a little bit. And it's, it's a question of whether I want to cheat this a little bit. But, as we talked about last time, the contents of a geode process when you crack open that geode, right? So, in theory, you can spawn in, crack open all your geodes, and if it doesn't work, reload the game, because the game only saves when you go to bed. And I know that's cheeky, but I've put quite, I think it's just obvious I've put quite a lot of time into trying to get this red barrel, and the game's kind of shafting me. Oh, Ponosaurus School is new, I think. I think Gallimima School is new as well, actually. I get the feeling the school's quite rare. You know, you can see here, but we're not getting them at all anymore. It's like pelvis is for days. <laughs> all right, game. <laughs> Don't need to keep doing it. Jesus. Okay. Look, if I've got two new ones, I'll be pretty happy, frankly. And so the point is I would keep hold of my Earth Geodes, and we would just do it over and over and over again until we get the red barrel. I'd I think I'm going to do it, because I don't really want to keep grinding the earth mine again. I think I've ground about 40 floors of it, at least, just for this one bloody gem. Yeah, got three new ones. Not bad. Two skulls and the... Oh, we got... It's probably five, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, five and ten. Woohoo! <laughs> Fantastic. We did actually need Osmium Kelp, as it happens, because I sold it all. And we need it for the... um. Oh, that's why we can get the Pesa, because we need the Osmium. Uh, hmm, yeah, we do need... Mm, 
Hmm. A little think. Moonstone, is that new? Well, it's been donated, so I... Oh, you know what? I completely forgot this, that I'm meant to be donating gems. I don't think I even checked at all with the last batch. I don't think I checked once. I completely, completely forgot that you can donate gems. That was stupid. <laughs> I think we're going to do it. I think that's what we're going to do next episode, basically. So what I'll do is I will spawn in... It's gonna, I'm going to do some editing, essentially. It's terrifying a notion as that is for this channel. And we'll go and we'll crack open 17G. Is it 17, though? Okay, maybe what we do... Ah, da, 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 tomorrow's Friday. Is the blacksmith open on Sunday? I don't think so. 26th, 27th... Oh, oh, the timing. What I'm thinking is we, we do one more day in the mines. Because the more Earth Geos I have, the better, right? The less I have to reset my day because you reset and then you have to wait three hours it's not instant so i think maybe we want to just do one more foray into the mines and try and um stack up more geodes before we do it but tomorrow's friday the blacksmith is definitely shut on either saturday or sunday but i don't remember which day hmm I think what I'll do is I'll give it a go, <laughs> basically. And I will, um, wait, is, is the next episode the last episode? God, it is. 22K, where's all this money coming from? Honey, yeah. We're rich. I'm mean, not even that rich. It looks like a crazy amount of money, but it, it won't last forever. Yeah, it's the 26th today. So the final day is gonna be the Fast. All I need, the only, the only thing I want is the red barrel and maybe to move the farm around a little bit. So I'm going to give this a go. I'm going to record it and I'm just going to hammer the blacksmith and pop open the 17 geodes and we will start the next video when that finally bloody happens. And then we can get it offered. I'd like two actually, because I'd like to donate one as well. But I'll get it offered. And then... We'll spend a day moving the farm around. We'll spend a day maybe going through the fire mine to get some gems to upgrade our enchantment stuff. And then we'll do the festival, I think. And we'll do three short days to make sure it all fits. So, for the second to final time, for this season at least, there will be a second season, of course. Thank you for joining me for Coral Island. I'll see you lovely folks tomorrow for um, some red barrel hunting. Cheers, myself, as always. Bye-bye.